This video covers how to create a push notification campaign. Push notifications are the most widely used messaging channel in the world, which are primarily used to re-engage users and bring them back to an app. Let's say an online grocery store updates the deals of the week section of their app every week, which includes special offers on limited products. The app sends push notifications every week, nudging customers to purchase items from the deals of the week section. To get started, click on Campaigns in the main navigation. Campaigns let you define the key components of a marketing message, that is, selection of the messaging channel, the target user group, the send time, and content of the message. View all the campaigns created in this project here. To get campaign analytics reports on your email, create report subscriptions by clicking here. Request campaign reports by selecting campaigns based on filters such as current status of the campaign and channel type. To create a push notification campaign, click on Plus Campaign here. Select Mobile Push. Select Past Behavior or Live Behavior segment to create a push campaign. To learn more about different segmentation types, check out the Segments video. To send a campaign once, select One Time, and to send campaigns on multiple dates, select the second option. This option allows you to set a recurring campaign that is scheduled regularly based on the selected frequency. In this example, select Recurring Campaigns. Select Start Date as January 10. You can choose to never end the campaign or end it on a specific date or after a few occurrences. Run the campaign for three months. Select the end date as March 2nd. Set daily, monthly, or weekly frequency. In this example, send the message every week. Pick Monday of every week. Use the best time to deliver feature to personalize the time to send the campaign for each user based on when he is most likely to engage. Alternatively, send the campaign at a fixed time every month. Click on Advanced to explore more options. This option lets you deliver the campaign in the user's time zone. This is available if you select to send the message at a fixed time. To set Do Not Disturb Hours, click here. The messages are not sent to the customer during these hours. Set different Do Not Disturb Hours by the day of the week. By selecting the Campaign Cutoff option, the messages are not sent after the specified cutoff time. This setting is relevant for time-sensitive campaigns, such as live sporting events. Global Throttle Limits set restrictions on the number of messages that can be delivered in a specific time period. Let's select the Best Time to Deliver feature here. Click on Continue. Next, select the segment to whom the message should be sent. Click on Continue again. The message is sent to users who have subscribed for the Deals of the Week newsletter. Select User Properties here. Select User Property Subscribe to Deals of the Week equals True. Here are more advanced options to segment users and set message limits. This section segments users by operating system or devices. This option gives the ability to send the message to all the active devices associated with a user instead of the last active device. This is important as a user might use an app on multiple devices. The most recent device used to log in to the app is the last active device. Send this message to all the devices by selecting this option. This section calculates the segment size, distributed by OS. The next section sets a limit on the number of messages that can be sent in the campaign, regardless of the segment size. This is important when you are distributing limited coupons or offers to customers. The first option stops campaign delivery if segment size exceeds the set limit. This will notify the creator to decide to stop or send the campaign. The second option sends the message to limited users selected randomly from the qualified segment. Set the global campaign limits, which sets an upper cap on the number of messages that a customer can receive in a specified time period. This ensures a customer to receive limited messages in a day or a week. 
click on Continue to create the content of the message. Create a single message by clicking here. This option lets you A-B test the message with up to three variants. The third option lets you personalize messages based on user properties, such as name, location, language. For example, send different messages to users whose preferred language is English and French without creating multiple campaigns for different languages. Let us explore the A-B test functionality. To create the first variant, add the title message here. Deals for this week are here! Personalize the message based on user properties such as name, customer types, by writing at. Let's personalize the message with the user's name. Add default copy as hey. Next write the message copy. Get 10% off selected items. Treat yourself. Smiling face with heart eyes emoji. To add interactive elements to the message, click here. For iOS, add rich media to push notifications, including an image, carousels, or videos. Let's add an image here. Similarly, for Android also, add the image link. The summary text replaces the message text when the user expands the push notification. This is the large icon, and this one is the small icon. Add these icons if needed. To add call to action buttons, turn this on. In this example, add the action button, buy now. You can add up to three action buttons. Assign an action ID to each of them to understand which action button was clicked. Add a deep link here to take users to specific sections in the app. Add the notification sound with this option. Notification tray priority sets the priority of the message on the notification screen of the mobile device. Maximum option gives the highest priority to the message. This option sets the priority order of the push notification campaign delivery if multiple campaigns are running at the same time. Set the priority to high for only important notifications. Next, select the notification channel for Android 8. This means you can create message groups that users can opt into. Each notification channel represents a message category like product updates, promotional messages, order updates, etc. The user can opt for specific message categories. Select the promotional notification channel. Set up promotional notification channels in settings. To create the second variant, copy the content and settings from the first variant. Change the copy of the second variant to below. Title, Weekly Specials. Message, Ted, get 10% off selected items. Treat yourself, smiley face, hard eyes emoji. Take personalization to the next level by using liquid tags, linked content, and catalog send time personalization. Click here to set up these personalization tools. Linked content and catalog send time personalization pulls data from third-party sources to dynamically add current information at the time the messages is sent. To learn more about these features, go through individual demo videos. To send a push notification, Add clever tap ID of the test users. Opt for split delivery or A-B test messages. Split delivery divides the qualified segment into two halves and sends one variant to each half. The A-B test option sends the message to a small percentage of the qualified segment for a specific time period. Then it automatically sends the winner variant selected based on the number of clicks to the qualified set. Select the A-B test message and wait for two hours. Click on Continue. Next, add control groups to the push notification. Control groups define a small percentage of users who do not receive the campaign. It helps you to understand the campaign effectiveness. Select the control group percentage from here. To learn more about control groups, go through the explainer video. Add time to live for the push notification. This means that the message delivery will be attempted for this time period only. Click on Continue. Review all the details here and send for approval if needed. This is how you can create a push notification campaign. Now let's go through campaign analytics once the message is sent. 
It includes the number of messages sent, as well as how many users viewed and clicked the notification. Errors give the number of users who didn't receive the message due to technical and non-technical errors, such as multiple profiles of a user. This chart helps you understand the distribution of push notification delivery by push notification services. That's it for the demo. Thank you.